Tonight, it's a pivotal game for the NLCS. Dodgers looking to even up the series against Ronald Acuna and the Braves. It all starts 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific on Fox. And simulcast on FS1. What a game that was last night. All right, back here, first things first. It's time to make our picks for Sunday's free-to-play Super 6 contest. Terry Bradshaw putting up a million dollars this week. All you got to do is correctly Ooh. predict the outcome of six NFL games. One of the matchups, Bears at Panthers. Nick, who you got and by how many? Listen, I've been a believer in the Bears from before the season started. I picked them to make the playoffs, win double-digit games. That, that means they've got to get an, a slight upset win. They're only slight underdogs against Carolina. I'm going to go with the Bears by four, Brandon. The Bears by four as they get to five and one on the year. Hey, something's going on in Carolina. I like this Panthers team, and they don't even have their best player That's out real. there. Teddy B and Robbie Anderson, they're absolutely mm. balling. I like them by six, and this is a good time wow. if you're Chicago to get the run game going. Oh, he's got the football. What? Where did I break the ball? I didn't know where this is going. Prop ball showed up out of nowhere. Did you? I need. I just sit here with the ball. Kids dodgeball. All right. Listen up, hey everybody. Listen up, goofball time. I have my dodgeball. I'm going Panthers by three. They would have lost the game if Bears would have lost the game if Tom Brady knew that there was only four downs rather than five in the last possession. So I'm not quite a believer in Nick Foles yet. So I'm going Panthers by three. All right. Well, make sure that you get your picks in before kickoff on Sunday for your chance to win a million dollars of Terry Bradshaw's money. For much more, you can always head to the Fox Sports app. Time now for four things. First, a collection of things we saw, we loved, and Brandon, you loved Russ joining the Madden 99 Club. I love this. Hey, Nick, really quick, how many catches did I have? Was it 970 or 969? Which one? Nine hut well, I mean, 970, but we found out one of them was a fake. So it should be 969. Okay. Your 900 catch was a fake, but 970 is what it's officially recorded at. My last catch of my career came from this guy, and this is the actual ball. Oh. Russell Wilson threw me my last oh. catch. Yes. About time That's this awesome. guy is getting the respect that he deserves. Um, it's been a long time coming. This is the year of Russell Wilson, okay? So not only will he be the MVP, but now he's oh. a 99. This is every player's dream. The Madden rating matters. It matters, wow. Oh. Okay. Right. And thanks, Russ. Thanks. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, little oh. throwback jersey Look at for this, the Nets. Jenna. Well, the Nets got brought back their City Edition jerseys from 1990 to 91, replacing the most bleh uniforms in the entire NBA. Hopefully, this is a step in the right direction of rebranding the entire franchise, which is named after a piece of nylon. Hey, Philadelphia <laughs> 76ers, what are you named after? Oh, the birthplace of American democracy. How about you, Rockets? Ah, oh, our position in the aeronautics industry. How about you, Pistons? Oh, well, you know, the heartbeat of uh, automotive manufacturing. How about you, Brooklyn? The net. You know, the net. <laughs> it's literally Anchorman Steve Car Carell's character where he says, I love lamp. You're just looking around like, hey, guys, we got to name the franchise. Ah, uh, backboards? Rims? <laughs> Nets? Oh, let's just go with the Nets. Uh, pay, uh, pay to play, Nick. Okay, all right, so listen. Brandon, I hate to do this to you, man. Yesterday, Brandon no. revealed to us that he, like LeBron, no. <laughs> bought his daughter her own house. And then after the show, I did some interrogating of Brandon to find out how much it costs. And I'm not going to let the audience know what it costs. But about three semesters at Stanford is about the equivalent to it. <laughs> and so I did some digging. Brandon, I found this house on the internet. Can we show it, please? This palace, it's multi-level. I think we can show it. It's yeah. only nine grand. How did you spend whatever it is? You, look at that thing. You could have gotten that for 9000 Is that life you, size? Yeah. It's Steph Curry's fault. No, no, it's child. It's Steph yeah, Curry's fault. You can get in there. 
That's no. that, that right there. I, I that has two levels, I was on it YouTube watching like a day uh -huh. in the life of Steph Curry, and he bought his daughter yeah. this house. And I said, I got to use the same company. Maybe they overcharged me. Maybe. Whoa. I you think? think they did. I think, you they, think, I think they overcharged you, buddy. Because I could have gotten her Cinderella's <laughs> castle for nine thousand. You could have gotten eight of them. Oh, uh, so that's all I'm saying, pal. That's all. Your old buddy Nick Wright can help you save some money in you the future. You just got put in your place. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. So Rondo did a uh, Rondo did a TikTok video with his kid the other day, and your brain, when you see one of these, is wired to be like, "Oh, the parents trying to be all cool, doing a dance with the kid. The parents look a little fuddy duddy, and the kid looks cool. And all of a sudden, there's a balance of cool power over to the kid, and that's it." I would. Here's my thing with these TikTok videos. If you're a parent, unless you're Nick's wife Danielle, who's an incredible dancer and can pull this off. Parents should never be doing this because you have one chance to hold on to your coolness. Rondo, you just won the NBA title. You're cool. You have now just moved all your coolness over to your kid. Take me, for example. I'm the cool one in my family. Why do you think I'm holding strong? I've done everything on social media. I will never do a TikTok video because you will never get that coolness you back. Can't dance. Once you try to dance, yeah. and I can dance, and I dance. give that to Great my take. seven year old Harper, it'll never come back to me. So my advice to Great you, parents, take. unless you want to look a little fuddy-duddy, stay off the TikTok dancing. You will never be the cool one in your family stay unless off. you're Danielle stay Wright off ever again. Done. Thank you. That was very nice oh. of you. I'll tell my <laughs> wife you said that. That is so nice of uh, you. Ooh. It is true. Danielle is actually fantastic at the TikTok videos. All right, back to the NFL now, <laughs> unlike the me TikTok. and Wild. Stop uh, calling where it the, the Browns... <laughs> we should get on the internet TikTok. and the line. You sound so <laughs> the, Browns. <laughs> the Browns and Steelers gearing up for their biggest matchup in like 200 years, it seems like. Browns coming in at 4 and 1, first time since 1994 when Belichick was at the helm. Steelers 4 and 0 for the first time since 1979, a few years before I was born, even. Head coach Mike Tomlin ready for a <laughs> battle in the Berg. Delivering this Tomlinism, quote, we love being in the kitchen, and AFC North Ball is in the kitchen. It's hot in the north. Well, Tomlin's not kidding. It's crowded at the top of the AFC North. You got Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Cleveland, mm. all with four wins, which makes Sunday's game that much bigger. So, Brandon, I'll start with you. Which team you think more likely to dethrone the Ravens as AFC North champs? Browns or Steelers? Well, who do you trust more, Jenna? I'm, I'm going to ask you the question. Baker Mayfield or Big Ben? Steelers. Oh, no. Anyone who <laughs> Exactly. Baker. You exactly. know my answer. Nick, Anybody you that's laughed at me Baker. when we previewed the NFL yeah. season. When I said that the Steelers yeah. are going to make it to the Super Bowl, you laughed at me. Yep. I think you owe me I'm an still, apology. I'm still laughing. No, 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 no. I still think it's a you're, bad take. Are, I still think it's a bad take. You're not a believer? It's a great, it's a great take. No, Listen, for 25 years... For 25 years, their identity hasn't changed. They are power run O, and they're a zone blitz D. They haven't changed at all. Now you have a big Ben who's healthy, and he's playing lights out. Ten touchdowns, one pick. The only thing we're waiting on on the offensive side is the deep ball to drop. He's playing bad in that area. Four for like 17, 20-something percent. But when that deep yeah. ball drops, it's over for the NFL. Connor's averaging five yards a carry. And then on the defensive side, they're third in the NFL. They're first in sacks. This defense is balling. They do got to clean up a few things. They got a little, they got some little gaps in the secondary. But this team is really good. I think that it's their division. Uh, Lamar Jackson obviously is scary if that passing game gets rolling then we can change the conversation but until that passing game get rolling i'm going with big ben and this pittsburgh steelers uh team wilds okay listen i i've got no problem just sorry wilds so just re let me respond to that real quick i got no problem admitting when i'm wrong if i end up being wrong and if you end up being right on the Steelers, I will admit that. But I am I think right now they're more likely to finish third in their division than finish first in their division. And I'll tell you why in I, I I'll tell you why in just a moment. But for the audience, okay. this is a show that has a deep commitment, if to nothing else, to take integrity. Which is why it is a little curious. I was just thinking about this. 
Wilds, Brandon, and I all gave our Super Bowl picks this year. And Wilds, who's from the greater New England area, picked the New England Patriots. And me, who's from Kansas City, picked the Kansas City Chiefs. And Brandon, where are you from again? People, I don't know if they know, where were you born? Huh? Where'd you grow up? Uh huh. Where'd you uh -huh. grow up, buddy? Where are you from? Oh, he's from Pittsburgh. Two, Pittsburgh. And he's got Steelers. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. And he's got the Steelers going to the Super Bowl. All right. Here is the reason why I am not yet Wilds buying the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm going to give you four names. Giants, Broncos, Texans, Eagles. Those four teams That's right. are combined three 15 and one and that's who the Steelers four victories have come against so now you only can play who's on your schedule you got to play who's in front of you but I would posit Wilds there are a lot of teams yeah, okay. that could be 4-0 if they were going up against those four teams so I need to see more from them and they can show it starting this week the, the next, their next three games, Cleveland, Tennessee, Baltimore. So they've got a three-game stretch where they can prove me wrong. Okay. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, go ahead. I don't think it's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. Cleveland's rec record, okay, is they're six. Mm -hmm. The teams they beat are six, nine, and one combined. So if you want to use stats, mm -hmm. Nick, because you use wow. numbers yeah. to tell your story. Okay? Yeah. Kapow. Six, nine, and one. Kaboom. That's That's the combined record six, of the season that the Cleveland Browns beat. Yeah. Yeah, that that's that's a hell of a wild six nine and one. I mean that that seems like the seventy two Dolphins compared to three fifteen and one. I mean it's just at least, I mean one's got double the victories. I mean it's a big difference there. But go ahead, Kevin. Brandon, are are you, I know everyone. I think the media is trying to play it up, and the players are trying to play it down besides Kareem Hunt. Mike Tomlin's like, ah, it's not a big deal, the Miles Garrett thing, you know, it's not a big deal. Freddie Kitchens is still probably wearing his Pittsburgh started this shirt. But so it feels to be a media oh, narrative and not necessarily Freddie a player Kitchens. narrative besides Kareem Hunt, who says, like, hey, this one's for Miles. I think, whether or not they want to admit it, Miles Garrett who leads the NFL in pressures, wants to come out and have a massive game. Massive game. I, the idea that this is forgotten or it's not like in the forefront of his mind, I think is just foolish. I think he's going to come out and try to like, you know, not, you know, not bop anybody on the head. Yeah. But I think he's going to have a, the best game of his career. And if I were you and Steelers, I'd be, I would be very nervous uh, about him getting to Big Ben <laughs> and causing just wreaking havoc on your offense. It's media driven. I mean, it, if Mason Rudolph was in there, then it's a different story. Yes, let's talk about it. Oh. If that was Big Ben, then yes, absolutely. That was their third string, fourth string quarterback. If that was Big Ben and that happened, then I don't care how long, uh, uh, the time, how much time has gone by when Miles Garrett takes the field against the Pittsburgh Steelers, you best believe that offensive line is going to get after him. So. If, 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 my, if Mason Rudolph was playing, then it would be a different story. But this is all media driven. All me. Okay. All right, let's take a turn now. What, uh, what had LeBron and the Lakers just laughing at the Clippers while they were in the bubble? I promise you're going to want to hear this. We'll tell you Everything. next. Everything. First.